What's going on YouTube? You already know who it is. Back at it with another video for you guys. Brand new video, I should say. So, somebody wanted me to check this out. Top 10 scariest clowns in movies and TV. I've seen a few of them. Now, I don't have a theory of, a theory of what is that? I have a phobia of clowns, but you know, there is some things that creep you the hell out. I will say that. So, let's go ahead and check this out. See who some of our scariest clowns in the past and in more recent times, shall we? In about a three, two, one. Always. That's all. He don't look scary to me. He look like Leatherface with a clown man. funny men from our well, childhood makeup, I should say. that made us never want to visit the oh, circus. Oh, is that where they got yeah. that yeah. shit from, Dark Deception? The, Welcome that game. to WatchMojo.com. Y'all know what I'm and talking about. And today we're counting down our picks for the top ten scariest clowns of film and television. I'm um, really Clownster afraid phobia. of clowns. While clowns were traditionally designed to be silly slapstick characters, for this list, we're looking at the most Lord, terrifying takes on these costume That's real jokers cute. that left enough of an impression on us that they're still haunting our nightmares. Dude, dude, dude. Ew. I think I saw this before. Ah! This movie. Oh. Ah, in here. Really? Ah! Number 10, Clown or Violator, Spawn. Master and I gonna have words. He knows I hate clowns. God, I hate them. I hate them all. What's worse than having to be a servant to the devil himself? Ew. Having this guy guiding your way. Hang on. These flashbacks can be killers. After being betrayed by a colleague, Al Simmons is assassinated. See you in hell, Al. He arrives in hell, where he's recruited by sure, Satan a as a servant for Armageddon, a role he accepts in exchange for his being returned to Earth. Upon his return, he's met by the Violator, who is actually a demon hell-bent on leading Spawn on a path of evil destruction. The name of the people and things of hell I dubbed thee, Spawn! However, he's taken on the form of a portly Ew. male with ominous clown-inspired face paint and murderous tendencies who can hold his own against Hellspawn, or at least will most certainly try to. Play dead. <laughs> ah! Number 9. Horny the Clown, Archie Benjamin, drive through. Horny the Clown, oh, Horny okay. the Clown, welcome to Hellburger. Would you like to try our jalapeno cheesy sticks? They're only 99 cents with any order. In this 2007 horror comedy, hungry teens are stalked by a fearsome I've never heard and this move sadistic before. fast food mascot. Order up, punk! With an intercom for a mouth. You want fries with that? And a passion for exacting revenge yeah, that mask on would probably those who creep me the hell out in the past. Today. Horny is the embodiment of demonic Damn. possession in a form so frightening that Ronald McDonald would tremble with fear. I see that! Look at the horny front house! You want to tell I do the hell I'm gonna With several unforgettable and well, creative damn, ways to dispatch his hell? victims, this is one crazed clown you'll want to avoid the next time you have a craving for fast food. Fast you food think? kills, f***er. Number eight. Clown Zombie, Zombieland. Of course. It had to be a clown. This film chronicles the adventures of several survivors of a zombie apocalypse with the perfect combination of humor and terror. Which coincidentally is the best thing about Zombieland. A showdown at an amusement park with a mob Jesus. of the undead leaves our unfortunate hero with the choice to either face his clown phobia or become just another snack. Time to nut up or shut Wipe up. your mouth. What's your mouth? As if clowns weren't scary enough. Though this makeup-wearing walker's appearance is short-lived, there's no denying you better get your ass impression off. <clears throat> that makes carnivals a place you'll always want to steer clear of. Hey. 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 Number seven, clown or the laugh, amusement. Hello, it's Tabitha, the Carmine's niece. <laughs> Okay, that was creepy. In this slasher flick, a babysitter encounters a, a clown ass in her aunt's home that has that? a few tricks up his sleeve. Boys, listen to me. We have to hide. There's a bad man, a very bad man in the house. He just wants to play. 
No, don't! But Tabby he said he just wanted to have some fun. In an already creepy oh, he wanna have fun, full of all right. paraphernalia, this life-sized mm -hmm. doll is more than meets the eye as he kills people in his search for revenge. <laughs> that big ass man. That would creep me the hell out. With a menacing laugh and the pure joy he finds in both stalking and murdering his victims, that would scare the hell out of me. This serial killer certainly chose a costume that reflects his horrific oh. nature. What with his blood red hair and clown nose, all while keeping us on the edge of our rocking chairs. I'm looking right at it. I might have to watch this movie. Tabitha. Number six, Crazy Joe Davola, Seinfeld. Black tie, Baliachi, the great clown, the great sad, tragic clown like you. He's one guy that proves not all clowns are happy or tragic. Some clowns are just nuts. Nice Make us laugh, face. clown. Oh, yeah. Nice face, clown. Make me laugh, clown. <laughs> Angry at Jerry because he allegedly put the kibosh on his NBC deal and sad because Elaine dumped him. You're not leaving. <laughs> Joe Davola lets his mental problems get the better of him and lashes out at the people he thinks have wronged him. Oh, there's that clown again. What does he want from me? Look, I'm serious. I'm not kidding. I don't have the core. That guy took it. I don't want any money. Dressed as the saddest clown, Pagliacci, Crazy Joe shows up at a performance of the opera to get his revenge. He's one clown you don't want to meet in a dark alley. Are you still scared of clowns? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Number five, clowns. Killer clowns from outer space. How are we supposed to get in and see the show? When a race of evil aliens that resembles clowns lands on Earth, their bloodlust for human flesh, with combined I told with sweet and creative ways of killing Ew. their victims, are the <clears throat> stuff of nightmares. Oh, pizza. <laughs> Whether they're wrapping their prey in cotton candy-like cocoons or using puppets to lure them into their hands, this cinematic take on clowns is simply terrifying. What are you gonna do? Knock my block off? <laughs> yep. Damn. He literally we did. Hate to see what their home planet looks like. These clowns and their circus-inspired killing spree, paired with their deadly extraterrestrial powers, make them unforgettable horror fuel that will keep you up at night. Don't worry, they. All we want to do is kill you. Number four, clown doll Don't worry. poltergeist. Oh hell, that motherfucker! When a family I thought believes the one from some scary nasty movie spirits was haunt their scarier. house, they enlist a team of parapsychologists to help them discover the meaning behind these restless ghosts. Yeah, clown hiding under bed. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. But they only do this after they experience intense demonic happenings including an already creepy toy clown coming to life to terrorize the kids no, of the home. Fuck that. Seriously, why would anyone stay in a house after this? <laughs> the evil clown doll becomes a true monster under the bed, and this memorable scene made us all fear even the most harmless looking toys in our closet. Oh, Lord. Ooh, not that Number three, the Joker, Batman and the Dark Knight. Who don't love the Joker though? Joker. This iconic comic book villain is Batman's arch nemesis. And although portrayals have changed throughout his many incarnations, the clown prince of crime remains one badass funny man you don't want to mess with. Whoa. Look at that luscious tan. Those ruby lips and hair color. So natural. Only your undertaker knows for sure. <laughs> His chaotic mannerisms and unpredictable behavior, combined with a menacing grin and homicidal tendencies, make him the perfect adversary to the cool demeanor of the caped crusader. Well, you look nervous. Yes, who doesn't? Is love it the Joker? scars? We've narrowed down the Joker's most terrifying big screen depictions to the memorable performances by Jack Nicholson in 1989's Batman. <laughs> Boo! Whoa! <laughs> as well as the equally disturbing 2008 interpretation by the late Heath Ledger in The Dark Knight. I believe of course. whatever doesn't kill you simply makes you stranger. 
Whichever you prefer, there's no denying the Joker is one of the scariest clowns to ever grace the silver screen. It's not about money. It's about sending a message. Everything burns. Number two, Captain Spaulding, House of a Thousand Corpses, and The Devil's Rejects. So I know Pennywise will be in the like blood, violence, and freaks of nature. There's well, no then, come on down to Captain Spaulding's Museum of Monsters and Mad Men. <laughs> In the first of these exploitation horror flicks, we meet a gang of backwoods murderers whose sadistic method of torture killing is as brutal as it is terrifying. What in the hell? <laughs> as the owner of a local gas station and proprietor of the Museum of Monsters and Mad Men, Captain Spaulding is the architect of the film's bloodshed and carnival of horrors. And with just the right amount of intimidating and endearing insanity, he is one crazy clown we love to be scared of. Butter, bitch. Thanks to his Ooh. ability to lure in <laughs> unsuspecting victims with his unsettling charm, he is also a roadside attraction you'll want to avoid on your next road trip. What's the matter, kid? Don't you like clowns? Why? Hey. Don't we make you I love like he want to laugh. You ain't got a reason why you hate clowns. I'm going to kill you, whole Family. All right, now get your fucking ass out the car. Come on. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Before we reveal our top pick, here are some okay. honorable mentions. Girl, you are too damn loud. You done pissed him off even more now. Night Clown house. Nightmare. Kind of like they were already inside of him. Oh! Oh! Was that a person? Damn! Oh, great boy, Cloud. Oh. oh, I saw this movie. This movie. Yep. Rock ass. Number one, Pennywise. I said it. it. I said it. Georgie. Aren't you going to say hello? From the twisted mind of Stephen King comes this fearsome clown with a taste for children that has haunted our dreams for decades. See you in your dreams. Oh, come back anytime. Bring your friends. A sewer dwelling monster with the ability to morph into whatever you are most afraid of. Pennywise uses frightening intimidation techniques to keep your heart racing before making you his next meal. You all taste so much better when you're afraid. With a set of spiky teeth and a tendency to appear in storm drains, this is one clown you never want to meet. I'll show you how to flow down here. They all flow. Performed to perfection by run. Tim Curry, this TV adaptation's terrifying take on killer clowns is as scary ah. as they get, and is guaranteed to keep you frightened for years to come. Get out! Last chance, do ya? Get out! Get out! What a guy. Do you agree with our list? We you know, when I think about it, the remade uh, version of it was way more like intense. Like obviously, the first one. I'm pretty sure it was scary because I didn't see it back in that time. You know what I'm saying? I wasn't fooling with certain scary movies when I was a kid. I'm like, uh-uh. I just looked at it and something just told me, like, no, don't even watch this shit. I wish they would have told me that with the Candyman because y'all y'all know the story. Just like when with Georgie and all that, when he got his hand mauled off, I said, somebody had spoiled the shit on Instagram <laughs> when the movie came out back in 2017 of Georgie putting his hand in the, uh, you know, to get his little boat or whatever back, and Pennywise's mouth just opened and fucking mauled this little boy hand off, I said. And then seeing it in the theaters, I'm like. <laughs> and then watching this little boy limp and stuff, like lean away and trying to get away, and Pennywise dragging him down, I said, they really went there with this one.
they really went th this was way this is way different from the one back in the 90s jesus but most of these clowns i didn't really find them like scary and maybe i would have thought different if i would have saw some of this back in the day like um the killer clowns from you know the aliens and shit and all that that one probably would have creeped me out or something back in the day as a kid but I, I didn't really find these kind of scary. Some of them were kind of creepy. But, um, you know, the rest of them, I'm like, eh, that's it. You know, the one that I would definitely say that would be scary is Pennywise, for sure. The, uh, hell, the old, but especially the new one. Because this motherfucker, he did all other types of shit. And it was just out of this world. But this was a pretty interesting video. Who do you guys uh, think was the scariest one out of this list? But before you do that, please be sure to like the video. Comment below. Like I said, what, what, what do you, um, what's one of the scariest clowns that you've ever seen on a TV show or a movie? Or hell, even a video game if they got some. Y'all let me know in the comment section below. Um, and as far as it goes, what do you, which one of you guys think is more scary? The one from the 90s or the one in 2017? Okay? The old school Pennywise or the new Pennywise? Y'all let me know in the comments. For me, I think it's the new one. Because, like, he's just, like, way, way more. And I definitely say the old Pennywise, them damn teeth and shit. It's creepy as hell. But y'all let me know as well as anything else I can react to for you guys. Hit that subscribe button. Follow me on my Instagram. Hit that notification bell so you guys can know the video up and loaded. And I'll see y'all in a minute. It's Taylor Rain, and I'm out.